Good morning Seychelles. I'm staying here at this A&D Holiday Home. This home right here with three bedrooms, a living room and a kitchen. This is the Seychelles Licensing Authority. You can get licensing for all kinds of activities like accommodation, broadcasting and communication, building contracts, newspaper manufacturing, hiring, driving, diving business, anything, you know? Even a bicycle license. Here's the local park, but it looks like these swing sets are not working. It's a little dilapidated, but I saw some people here yesterday. This one's not working either. Talking about not working, this teeter-totter is only half a teeter-totter. Never seen that one before. Welcome to the gym. This place says using the latest commercial strength equipment. This is one of the center areas for Bay Saint Anne. You got this monument in the middle. Here's a school bus. It's very interesting. I'm not even sure what it's supposed to represent. Maybe the DNA or something. It's a uh, spiral in nature. So I got up early at 6 o'clock like I usually do and today I'm going to head to the airport which is 12 kilometers away to pick up my battery because I forgot it at the Mahe airport and my friend who works at the lounge up in Mahe he says that he could, he could help me out luckily so he sent it on a flight to Pralin two days ago and it's been sitting there so I gotta go pick it up now. Morning. You going to school? Yes. Alright, have a nice day. This is that funny spiral monument, whatever it means. Kanu Supermarket is the main supermarket in the Seychelles. This. Such a small car. Okay. You going to Valley Yeah. Okay. And then afterwards I continue. Thank you. What's your name? Will be. Will be. Yes. Will be. Yes. W I L B E. W I L B Y. Ah, B Y, okay, great. Yeah. So, where do you go now? Going to work now. Ah, you want to work, okay. In Valley Domain? No, I'm going to work now. So, I do uh, car repair. Ah, car repairs, okay, yeah. great. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Ah, the Coco Domain. Ah, okay. I wanted to see. Uh, from where you come? US. US uh, from America? Yeah, from Nevada. Okay, from Nevada. Yeah. That's a very, very good uh, country, yeah? Huh? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so maybe the real Garden of Eden also had Coco de Mer, yeah? Yes, maybe. <laughs> That's so amazing, huh? <laughs> so you've been inside Valle de Mer before? Yes. Yeah? Yes, I go there and for a walk sometimes when you, on Sunday when you finish work. Ah, okay. Go for a walk. For yeah. some exercise also, keep mm -hmm. fit. It's very, it's very good. It's fresh. It's cold. Yeah. Now I'm going to take some cold, fresh water to bring with me to my work. Mm. I can show you the water is very fresh. Yeah. Very pure water. Okay. Every people come and take. It's just down there. Wow. Oh. Were you born on Pralin? Yes, I, uh, I was born here. Um, now I'm going getting 50. Yeah. Um, I was born here. Always, uh, you see the waterfall there. Oh, when, yeah. you, when you come back, you will. Yeah. You will see. I can. I, I forget to show you the oh, waterfall. Yeah. I, you can, will see. I can walk to the waterfall. Yes, you can okay. walk. Oh, that's interesting. That's what I'll do too when I come back. So you like uh, you like living on Pralin? It's nice. Yes, Pralin. It's good. Peaceful. It's uh, peaceful. It's no big uh, big trouble like Mahe. Mahe is a little bit uh, <laughs> too much. Yeah. Okay. I see. But sometimes you you must go to Mahe. Yeah. How often do you go to Mahe? Like once every three a month. Every three months. Four times a year. Okay. Yes. So we've got some fresh water here. where you get your drinking water. So this water is safe to drink, right? 
good water they put uh, in the bottle. Ah. You know, you see there is a, a, a place there the, where they they put in the bottle. Mm, okay. You take it there. You see everything is. Uh, it's clean. Clean. Yeah. I see. Good, good, good. Yeah. You can leave it for some days. Clean, clean, clean water. Yeah. Everybody come and take the water for to drink here. <laughs> so free water, that's nice. Yeah, that's good water. Alright. Oh, okay. Blocking the road just to get some water, but it's a very famous place to get water. It's just the guy, he picked me up, and just uh, earlier there was a waterfall, and also Valley de Mer. <laughs> Good picture. Uh, yeah. So you secure it. Yes. To the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whole Foods Market. Wow. Here's the airport. And there's actually a stoplight for this airport because, like right now, the stoplight is red. Everyone has to stop. And it's because the airplane is coming. He's on final approach, is the twin otter from Mahe. There it is. He's on final approach to land. They have to have a stoplight there, so in case he does a go around and it's a low, it won't hit any cars. The fence is super short. You could it's only like about three feet high, this fence. You could easily hop it. All right, here it comes. Oh, well, this is exciting. There he is. 18 or 19 passenger twin otter. They have five of these for Air Seychelles. And they do all the island hopping. All right, he's floating. Floating. So it cost $80, around $70 to go to Mahe. It's only a 15 minute flight. And if you take the ferry, it'll be $60. However, with locals, you can get this $70 reduced down to $20. Now that he's landed, everyone can go. This place does have a control tower right here with the fire department. That's a nice call sign. S7 FAR. I'm gonna go check to see if my battery charger now is at the terminal. I wonder if he has a marshaller. Oh, there he is. There's the marshaller. They have up to 20 flights per day. Probably only 10 flights per day during the slower seasons. And this is the terminal right there. Here's another one of those houses that are made from stones. I'm not sure what they store in there, but it looks interesting. This is the Pralin Airport. It's a nice structure, keeps passengers dry from the rain. Only one airline flies here. They're partners with Etihad. Oh, 
Oh, I got my battery, so I'm really happy about that. How are you? Are you working today? Yeah. Ah, what do you what do you work at? Ah, uh, groceries. Like the grocery store? Uh, we are doing the home city goods. Which one? FMC goods. Farm city goods. FMC. No. Oh, pharmacy. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Waiting for your taxi ride? Yeah, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> did you just arrive? No, they're coming. I mean, did you just arrive from Mahe? Yeah. Ah, okay. How was the flight? Good? Good. Nice? Good. Ah, okay, great. Okay. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Siva. Siva. From India? From India. What's this mean right here? This one? Yeah. If you pray, we are going to do Ah. If we pray, we can do So after you pray, you do this? Mm. Ah, okay. Nice. Thank it's you. Quality. Yeah, thanks. Beside the airport, they have this small park to sit down in nature. That's pretty nice. We just met at the airport, then you got the car. Mm -hmm. So um, So basically you are from? I'm from the US. US. So, so what are you doing? Hey, ask me where I'm going. Huh? Ask me where am I going. Okay. Where are you going now? I'm going straight. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> where are you going? I'm going to that boat center. The boat center? Yeah. In what town? Uh, it's in Besantan. Oh, that's where I'm going. Okay. All right, good. Going there. We're okay. going to go through uh, Valley du Mai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Is, uh, do you know how to go there? Yeah. You're going to go straight and you turn left over the mountain? Yes, yes. That's yes. it, yeah. Okay. I had to go to the airport to pick up my battery. I forgot it in Mahe and they delivered it by airplane. So, so you are staying here, no? Yeah, I'm staying uh, near the hospital. Hospital? Yeah. Okay, fine. All right, good. That's interesting. Have you been to India? Yeah, I've been to India once. Once? Where you went in India? Uh, Bangalore, Puttapat. So I was surprised. So Tamil language is how old? It's more than 50,000. We, we don't know about the years. It's before... But it's, before, it's more than 50,000 years. What about Sanskrit? Sanskrit came from Tamil. Oh, really? Tamil is the uh, oldest language. It's before Sanskrit. Oh, really? So... Actually, so each letter means something? Yeah, yeah. Each letters have some meaning. Oh, wow. How many letters are there? 272 letters. How many? 272. Oh, that's a lot of letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. English only has 26. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, okay. So actually, yes, yeah, there are only 12, 12 basic letters. Uh -huh. In, from that basic 12 letters, uh -huh. uh, we can get to seven, 272 letters. Oh, wow. I'm going to research it and do some studies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to see. I like learning new things. So here we are in Grand Ants. In Grand Ants. It's one of the two main, major towns in Pralin. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So we got the petroleum station, Central Cafe. We've got a bank for changing money. Got another bank on the other side. We got convenience stores, crosswalks, healthcare center, paradise taste, restaurants, sidewalks, and then we have what is this? Amazon slots, <laughs> slot machines. Oh, a church. That's nice. Church. Some big trees, monuments, and then another shop here, and the Seventh-day Adventist Church. There it is. Seventh-day Adventist Church. That's pretty much it.
morning, Sheila. Good morning. So what's for lunch? This. So what are you doing now? Grating carrots? Yeah. All right. Can you describe what we'll have for lunch? <laughs> well, that's good. You're doing a good job. Okay. So we got rice on the cooker. We got lentils. We have curry powder. Some tomato soup. Some potatoes. And Sheila calls it Irish. And so over here, we have the sauce. You know you're in the Seychelles when you look down at your living room and you have a Coco de Mer and another one here. It's a real one. You know it's real because when you pick it up, it's a little heavy, number one. I can hear the nuts. It's a nice decoration. This one you can hear the nut easily, but it's really heavy. Is lunch almost ready? Yeah. All right, great. So I'm looking forward to it. So we got fresh carrots in the lentils. Yeah, you put them in. Okay. After cooking, need to wash all the dishes so everything is clean and the kitchen is ready for use on the next meal preparation. Hi. So you're not only a great cook, you're also a great cleaner. Yeah. If you want me to clean your house, you call me. What's your number? My number? Yeah. You email me. You just give me an email. What's your email? Sheila, SheilaBaby5 at gmail.com Alright. Uh. You'll have a lot of customers. Me? Yeah. No, I don't. So you're good at doing other household tasks? Yeah. Like what? I can clean, I can cook, I can take care of the flowers, compounds, everything. How about I can wash, I can iron. Anything around the house? Yeah, anything concerning the house. So you would also be uh, a good housekeeper at a motel? Yeah. And a hotel? Yeah. Where did you learn these skills? Here. Yeah. Home. Just at home? Yeah. Lunch is finally ready. It's about 11 a.m. We're gonna have lunch here and then I'm gonna go on this hike to this beach with this German girl and a British guy. We're gonna take the bus. They're gonna meet me around 12 o'clock. The bus is gonna pass by, bus 61. The bus takes about an hour and then I hike for an hour. We'll go to the beach, swim a little bit, and then I return back here around 3 o'clock. So that's the plan for today. In the afternoon, I'll be, we'll be visiting this beach called Anstor. It's a tourist site just up the road from Bay saint -Anne. The weather is perfect over here, nice sunny weather, so I should get a lot of good photos.
Ate chogo mbaja rubeja mugezi nyo, inyo, 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 kaka kulebe. Mbaja tu saa mkula batia. This seems like such a pointless gate. In fact, you can even see that people have rubbed the top just passing over it. And with a lock, it doesn't make sense. Are you going on the hike? Yeah, we did it one time. It's just great and uh, You've already done it? Yeah, we went here less than uh, two years ago. Oh, so you went to the Yeah, it yeah, oh. was a very yeah. Alright, good. It's great. So you want to find it easy? No, it's not easy, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not rough. Let's see, it's uh in flip flops, yeah. Twelve twenty one. So if it takes one hour it's gonna be uh one twenty one. So let's start this video. So can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Mark from England. What city? From London. What about the Seychelles? It's your first time? Yeah, my first time here. And how did you decide to come here? Oh, uh, well, I've just read about it. It looks beautiful. So I'd uh, come and check it out. All right, great. And uh, how many days are you here for total? For a week. The whole three islands? Yes. Wow, you're really doing it. That's good. So we have to hike up this road for one hour apparently unless we're fast and today is a little rainy, huh? <laughs> Hopefully yeah. the rain stops, but it's super well, green. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's not so hot right now. We might see some of those Coco de Mer trees here because it looks like a jungle. There's actually two of them. Which one? Let me see. What do you think of the hike so far? It's good. Not hard? Not, 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 not hard, no. <laughs> so we can recommend it to other people who are not big hikers then. <laughs> so we'll go down this pathway and then around to the left and we'll find the beach and meet up with Sandra. Yep. Good. Isn't that near the, um, Azerbaijan? Yeah, across the sea. Alright, so we gotta go down this way now. Hopefully we don't uh, slip or anything. Are <laughs> you gonna risk it? There's danger down this way. Yeah. But... Off to you. <laughs> <laughs> proceed at your own risk. <laughs> but there's no snakes, it's just probably slippery, right? Yeah. Okay. We have to go through this pathway. It's not really manicured. So you have to go through the jungle, but we can see the path for sure. It's just gonna make my uh, myself a little wet here, going through all of this jungle mess. So this is the path you have to continue down on. Have you heard of that one? No, not yet. This hike is a bit challenging. You gotta walk down this pathway, which is basically just a river of water going down in the past. And luckily it's not wet now, but it could have been really muddy and slippery. We just saw a local pass this. He went really quickly and barefoot. But this is the way you go. It's pretty fun. We're gonna cross this river now. Go up this path. Kind of reminds me of Tahiti when I was hiking around their jungles. This one's less intense. I haven't encountered any mosquitoes. So bugs are not a problem. Nice clean environment. It just rains a little wet. But so far so good. I can't see it. We found the crab down here. He's carrying around his shell 
and we're in the mountains. It's surprising to find him here. But if I try to move close to him, he might go into his shell. Let's see what he says. Hey. Are you scared? You're a little scared, aren't you? Oh well. We'll leave you alone, okay? Alright. Now we're getting further deep into the jungle. At least this part has more clearance. These are humongous leaves. You feel like an ant walking through this forest. And the uh, coco de mer plant, which I haven't seen one yet on this path, it's humongous. It's like two coconuts in one. They say one coconut can break the asphalt on the road. I found some pineapples being grown here. Looks pretty nice. After that strenuous hike, I got up here to the hilltop and I can see the resort over here. They got the golf carts, nice uh, grass and everything. And in the distance you can see these islands where they also have resorts with a bunch of white sand beaches. Well, wow, that's pretty nice. Wow, they weren't kidding when they said it was a nice beach. It's completely pristine, clean, and white sand beach yachts. Stay here, and let's see what's happening down there. There's some people there. Looks like some people are trying to swim. Well, that's amazing. This hike is worth it after all. Yeah, I'm gonna do that hike again. It was a hard hike. I had to even do some jungle hiking through the woods. And it took over an hour, probably an hour and a half. But the good thing is, I'm here. I recognize these two people. They were on the same bus like me. So apparently it takes the same amount of time. Maybe they stopped to have some lunch at the cafe at the resort. But I know where the beach is now. It's simply straight this way. This is where that trail is supposed to start, but it's completely prohibited. It says it's officially not open. Apparently it's dangerous to swim here. What do we have here? No lifeguard on duty. It's dangerous, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna check it out. It looked nice from the top. Wow, look at this white sand. It is so nice here. This is how it looks like from the bottom. They say it's dangerous, but everyone's here. These all come from the Seychelles? Yeah, all the food for the Seychelles. Everyone? Yeah. Especially from Vietnam. Okay, that's nice. What's so special about your fruits? Yeah. Yeah. Mapuya. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Star fruit. Ah. Papaya. Ah, okay. But it's all organic. Yeah, of course. Citron. Oh yeah. Coconut to eat. This is to drink. Hmm. Okay. Wow. That's pretty nice. When you taste it, magic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Those guys are pretty nice. They had a big variety of fruits there. I was so surprised. Wow, check out these white sand beaches. I guess it's a good area for snorkeling. That looks like a big snorkel. He must have good equipment. Hey, what kind of equipment is this one? Can I see this one? Yeah. It's a, no, this one. Oh, this one. So it's a special uh, mask. Yeah, it's like a decathlon shop. Oh, decathlon okay. Shop. You can buy it. Decathlon. 
Yeah. Well, so it's uh, is it work pretty good? Yeah, yeah I like it. I really like it. It's just one piece. Yeah, in one piece, everything. Ah. Do so you recommend it? Yeah. For me, it's fine. The last year I used normal and like, yeah. So. All right, great. Thanks. Wow, look at that water. This water is so turquoise and clear, it's incredible. You can't find such nice water in many places. But this place, the sand, along with the water, sun, and uh, greenery is incredible. No, well, so we got the beach blanket is the Ethiopian Airlines blanket. That's nice. This is such a nice green golf course. This grass is incredible. I'm just surprised at how clean it is. Like, I looked at it and it's real. It's real grass. But it's a special type of variety for golf courses. When you're playing at this golf spot, T number, whatever, you gotta push this button and turn the light on so people in the far distance won't get hit. It says please push, press the black button which will warn people when coming on the pathway that player is going to hit the ball. Got a golf course, tennis court, and all kinds of fun activities at this hotel resort. On final approach to Pralin Domestic Airport. This is Lemuria Hotel Resort in Pralin, Seychelles. Everything in Seychelles is about this Coco de Mer. Even these openings in the house have the coconut looking object, Coco de Mer. This is a nice apartment complex complete with a pool. Ah, oui, bien sûr, oui, oui. Avant. Oh, this is great. What's your names? Jan. Jan and? Melody. Melody. And you? Jason. Jason. Nice to meet you. Where nice. do you come from? US. Ah, USA. Good. How about you? Bad. Uh, yes. France? Way! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. What city? <laughs> I have to guess the city now. <laughs> And you, you travel uh, alone in, uh, in Seychelles? No, my friend is at home. She didn't want to go hiking. Oh! oh. I went to visit um, Anse Georgette. Anse Georgette, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. We have to go tomorrow. Ah, okay. That's good. If you don't stay... Where do you... Do you stay at the resort? How are you? Fine, you? Yeah, fine, okay. thanks. Uh, do you think I can see the, uh, what do you call it, the parrot today or no? Ah, uh, <laughs> yes and no, bro. Like, the reason why it's not really the breeding season right now. Oh. So, these guys, they're active in the park mm. during the breeding season. Oh, and okay. Right now, they're kind of out. But when, you might get lucky though. When is the best time to see them? Like, which when is their breeding season? Uh, this is in the Northwest, yeah. probably during uh, November up to April, May. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. But you know what? They what? have one of their favorite snacks here. They do? So, yeah, the La Taniela. Here I found the female Coco de Mer. It's the one that bears nuts. These nuts are gigantic. They're the size of two humongous coconuts combined. You can't really understand the size of this, but it's really big. And the leaves, they're just um, enormous. This is the female version. Now I'm gonna search for a male version. It's one of the most interesting coconuts ever. You're not allowed to cut it.
Wow, this palm tree has these leaves on it and it is enormous. It's like 50 feet high. It's hard to describe, but you can see it. Here we have the male version of the Coco de Mer. It looks just like this. There's three of them and it pollinates the female version which produces the fruit. This is the only fruit where you can poach. And of course poaching is bad so they say stop Coco de Mer poaching. It's starting to rain here so I'm gonna have to find shelter. This is how it looks like up close. Alright, I got a ride. What's your name? Sean. Sean? Yeah. Is that your dad? No. He's a farmer. He's a farmer? No. Yeah. Uh, how do you know him? I'm a... Uh, uh, I work at the SPD. SPE? SPD. Ah, oh, okay. Um, it means for social, social agency. Yeah. I go to. So we work with uh, different farmers around uh, um, uh, what, the island. What do you grow? Well, uh, they, they grow um, uh, tomato, um, uh, Chinese cabbage, uh, lettuce, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Spices, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Great. Like yeah. Thank you. <laughs> green environment in the jungle. Yeah. Hospital. Hospital. Of course. This is a nice house. It has a driveway, banana trees, palm trees, plantains. You know this is a plantain tree or a plant. Definitely not banana. So that's what you have here. Plantains, coconuts, bananas, and a nice house in Bay St. Anne, Pralin. This is the view from the other side of the street. Of course, today is a little rainy. Just gonna head now towards Kotor and have dinner with these two couch surfers. Hey, can I make a video? Yeah, it's no problem, my friend. Okay. Picked up a hitchhiking ride here, and where are you guys going? <laughs> going good job. All right, good job, yeah. that's exactly where I'm going. Yeah, I'm bringing a friend there. Ah, is this your yeah, friend? Yeah, this guy. Ah, uh, where are you from? Yeah, yeah. Kutor. You're from Kotor? Yeah. Ah, so you live there? Yes. yes. All right, how many minutes will it take? About? Seven, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yeah. All right, great. I'm going to meet some friends there okay. for dinner. Here we have an Italian restaurant you can eat at, it's really nice. Couples of course love eating and coming to this area, this area called Pralin. This is a tourist area. But not many tourists of course. Alright. Alright, thanks so much. Well, you got the calzone. I thought it was a pasta. How are you going with the pasta? Calzone? Yes. I think this is ours. Yeah, I think this is ours. I have to finish it. Wow, that was exciting. Is there three things on your own? Oh, you've rolled it. This is all yours. Wow. <laughs> Enjoy it. It looks good. <laughs> and this is yours as well, then? No, it is. No, I ordered bruschetta. So I got the bruschetta. 